To find the distance across a swamp, a surveyor locates a point C as shown below. All right, I see where the point C is, and angle C is 65 degrees. How far across is the swamp? All right, uh, it looks to me like the surveyor needs to find the distance across the swamp because of him. There is a swamp monster. The swamp monster might uh, need a suitable habitat, so maybe he's looking for this distance here so that the swamp monster has a place to live. Let's mark our diagram. There's C, we'll call that B, I'll call this A, and my angle, according to what we read above, is 65 degrees. So we're going to use the cosine law. We have... The reason why we're using the cosine law is we have side, angle, side. And remember, that is one of the two scenarios in which we use uh, the cosine law. So let's set it up. We have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. Let's plug in what we know. c squared is equal to 47 squared plus 38 squared minus 2 times 47 times 38 times the cosine of 65 degrees. Okay, let's uh, get some multiplying going on here. 47 squared, that's 2,209 plus 38 squared is 1,444, minus multiplying all of that out together, I get 3,572 cosine of 65. All right, just let me be clear here. I drew my line too long. I like multiplying that out first because it's, uh, it's just, um, I make less errors that way. So c squared then is equal to 1,943.41. Square root both sides. And we get c is equal to 44.1 meters. Probably enough room for our swamp monster.